Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. It is whatever night it is. It doesn't matter because this is not going out live. And as you can see, Lou, Steve, and Sam are both all three with... Yeah, they're all here. Yeah. Both all three are here. And Lou and Steve actually are friends. They're actually proving it right now. Yeah, from the same geographic location. What was that? Sorry. That was my monster fucking rack mount case that I just kicked by accident. So yes, hopefully we won't have any technical problems today with uh, with me having a new computer. Although I haven't reinstalled Windows and I still keep getting weird sound issues and crashes, but hey, bugger it. So we're on part five, aren't we? Uh, I Metal Gear Solid Three <laughs> Snake Eater. Four minutes and nothing has happened. <laughs> yeah, uh, lots has happened. It's just we're not really been paying attention to it. The, the Shagahod, the Shagahod has, has made an appearance at one point and. Yeah, someone sure. This is trees and bees. Someone's punched some some nukes out of the sky. I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for a for a bee man and an ocelot man with some bees as well. There's a lot of bees in this game, isn't there? Uh, that's probably is the end of the bees. The bees are now finished with now that. Yeah, because we, we just knacked him. Dead. Yeah, we yeah, just knacked the up bee the. Man. Yeah, the beekeeper. Yeah, I just noticed there that when Sam said that the two bosses have involved bees. To a lesser, greater degrees. I believe if you oh, head, right. uh, a, I know that you can pick up the SVD sniper rifle, which you need to do that pain thingy. So it's somewhere in a room to your left. So if you go to that little cave to your left, you just run past. I can't remember if it's in one or if it's in like. Oh, I could see them then. I saw them <laughs> just just before I went no. in there. No. No. I don't think any of those is a um... weapon pick up. But you've got in there and gone to the trouble of getting mined, so you might as well, like, you know, have a look. Is it the AP sensor? What's the... It's a mine detector, isn't it? It's in my backpack. It was, it's no, it's that. Well, what's the tooth thing? That's the life medicine. That's the fake death pill, the tooth thing. Oh, it's oh. the cyanide broke tooth thing. Yeah, but it's not a... It's not a... It's a fake death pill, it's not a real one. The fake cyanide. Yep. Well, that was a pointless excursion. I apologise for that. <laughs> I, I know that it's well. You, you have to have the sniper rifle to do the the thing with the end that we're going to try and do. And it, I know it's off to the left somewhere before you get to the, the cutscene. How close so are like, we? To the end? Right near it. It's oh, not that's... the end itself. The actual end boss fight is quite a <laughs> the... way away. But as I said before, this is way before you get to him. You can kill this him is, before you fight. This is him. yeah. The 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 end, not the end. This is where you get to earn twenty quid, Chris. Well, not you personally, but. You don't really, honestly, think that I'm going to manage doing that, do you? No, that's why I asked oh, for 20 quid. <laughs> It'd be fun to attempt it, though. Ah. Here we go, we got a little FMV. I'm going to cure oh, myself. But I can't be arsed with it. He's pour some pouring some shit on a on burn. Oh. Looks like he's going to pour some water on his balls. What? That's why exactly on his balls? That's exactly what he was probably going to do. Why not? why not? He's a survival expert, not me. <clears throat> what, me? The fact that he clearly had the burn on his arm and got the water out must have been going for his balls. <laughs> no, it's no the other option possible. Just the way we sat. Yep. Ah, rock climbing simulation. If you notice that when you go into like the rocks, you know, around, that they're never quite laid out like that, are they? So you can just happily walk down them in nice segments. That is actually a a source of many. Um... Like real life realizations that the real world isn't laid out in a way which is easily traversable. Yeah, because it gets so no, used I've, to it. I've been noticing this recently because I've been laying out a rooftop chase scene in my game, and it's been really difficult to come up with something that's realistic but fun to play and yeah. and and fun for the mechanics of the game. Because if you didn't, if nobody knows who's watching this, um, I've got parkour in my game, so you kind of wall run and you you jump off walls and you know do. Just minor acrobatics, and it's uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult to come up with something that's. It's a fine balance. Um, obviously, a game like Grand Theft Auto will do a, a sort of their version of a city like Los Angeles, but they'll condense it and cut things out and make it more engaging. Whereas a game like uh, L.A. Noir, which had the full city of Los Angeles, it felt it really tedious and superfluous. And you don't need all that. I mean, real life, the real world is there for you in a game. If you put all the detail in. It's not actually that much fun as a game sometimes. Yeah. Like, if if uh, Skyrim was actually the size of an actual country, 
you would never ever even get to one of the other cities if you had to go on foot because it would take you weeks to get there yeah. you know what I mean it's that sort of thing like there's got to be a level aren't there I th- I think all your rations have died they've all gone <laughs> off look. oh no the things you captured alive are still alive somehow sorry Lou yeah, say? I was just just when when I'm in kind of the real world, what I've realised is that, that <laughs> when there I'm isn't in the real world, there isn't, <laughs> there isn't a, a, a way to get to everything. Like you, you're expecting a game, that, you're expecting a game now that either you cannot get to it because it's in the background, or you can get to it because it's there, like Grand Theft Auto. Wait, wait, Chris, there's a dude on a fly thing. <laughs> there he is. What the hell is that? Is it a jetpack? It's a 1960s James Bondy floaty platform <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like in uh, computer games, whenever the, you have to jump to something, it's always the exact length of your jump away. Uh, you know, or the right height of your jump. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like the, you get used to the game world being really accessible and basically designed for you to play in. And then you is get that the what the design like is the word, isn't it? No one has ever got on that rooftop without a ladder. Uh, that that is that is the conclusive proof of right, that there is no god. Is that, that <laughs> yeah. the world is too is too fiddly to get around? So it clearly wasn't designed because computer games are designed and they're much easier to get about it. <laughs> That's it. We've cracked it. <laughs> if there is a god, there should be a double jump. Yeah. Oh, I can swim. Awesome. Forgot about you that. Can. <laughs> Just uh Don't drown. Yeah. I just check your map quickly, if you don't mind. I'm just curious of trying to get this thing done if we can. Like there's no offshoot to this, so you might as well head forwards. Um I believe there's a place you can go and set to the left before you get to the main cutscene bit. I think it's actually an indoor like factory place that you can go into, so it's probably quite easy to spot it, right? Worth twenty quid. It's worth doing it. Yeah. Plus, I think it's just—it's a fun little challenge in it, even if it doesn't work. Oh, he's seen you under the water. Oh, what? Mm. As if with water camouflage, you can see me. Right. You were faster swimming. <laughs> I was. Oh. It's in an armchair. <laughs> was it a toilet? <laughs> well, he's oh. dead. Nice. Oh. So am I. What's that? Fucking hell, shit, walking in water, innit? Leg it! Swim it! Oh, something. Swag it! Oh. Woo! Ah, what are those vieres? Can't read those things. I'm just gonna turn the volume up slightly because I'm. It's really quiet in my headphones all of a sudden. Open volume mixer. Oh, I just skipped a cutscene by accident. <gasps> what a shame. Was that the cutscene as well? I don't know. I hope it wasn't. Well, I didn't. I don't have a sniper rifle anyway, so. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I read a guide that said you could pick one up before you get to that bit. But we've not seen anywhere that you could get one from. This looks familiar. Yeah, you've missed it. <laughs> Chris, the children are going to die now. Do you want me just to restart the save and go back and try and get the? Sniper rifle. Like, from... Yeah, absolutely. There was no, there was no place for you to go and get one from, though. Well, there must I, have been. It's just been, it's been a while since we played this, and uh, I remember looking at the guide. Well, this was a complete misfire, wasn't it? What, what shall I do? Shall I reload well, or not? We already did it. We already did it in the uh, the bosses podcast. If we can go and watch the clip on that, if you're that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> to take that. All right, fuck you, Charles. Play charity. Yes. Screw the kids. Not literally. Yeah, but you, you missed the you missed the end cutscene as well. So. It's, it's Catholicism, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon that was that was a cutscene that probably had some story significance, but I'm sure we'll pick it up. <laughs> Sorry, I pressed start to pause it. Uh, right, I've got a cut or something. Burn. Was that noise? Nice? 
really difficult to see where I'm supposed to go in this. It is a bit dark out. Well, it's not the darkness, it's the kind of layout. Is it very realistic? I wouldn't say realistic. No, that swimming's not realistic. You're just thrusting through the water. <laughs> <laughs> just squeezing his buttocks and squirt out jets of water. Woodland water. Right. See if I can get my face a bit more camouflaged. No, obviously not. Mask. You do the water takedown. I don't think you can in this Doesn't game. Doesn't you can? <laughs> like those stationary fish in the water as well. Oh, I like these completely oblivious guards, but these are the worst guards in the world. What's that of agency do you reckon they get them from? <laughs> the, gen the genome agency, obviously. You only hired just completely inept people. <laughs> Actually, it's not in this one, is it? No, they're not. There's oh, no. Genome. Oh, bollocks. Genomage. There we go. Right. Can the reason there's a big. Chris kicking everyone in the face. The reason there's loads, there's like a big destroyed wall there, is that Volgin destroyed it in a. In one of his punching rages, and you got to see Volgin's powers, his electricity powers, and he punched the, the wall in a little bit. Oh dear. I don't think I've got through a single area yet, have I, without, with stealth? Nope. You've, been, you've been alerted in every single Alex. place that you've been. You haven't done any stealth in this entire playthrough of any of the games. Tactical espionage, fuck it. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, okay, you can't kick people with shields. They don't like it. I've been told. Zero. Right. That's where you are. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this. Here we go. Ah, uh, let the butchery commence. Look at their families. Bollocks off. I'm flanking your mouse. Yeah, I don't. Oof. I think the shotgun the isn't, it? isn't going to get through the shield. No, it's not. Yeah, we have to get through one area in this game without being spotted. Fuck! That work. It's just. Sort of. <laughs> Didn't know it was possible to suck this hard. <laughs> you can suck my balls, that's what you can do. <laughs> I couldn't suck them as hard as this, but okay. <laughs> I think you'll find that is a perfect hiding space. Yeah, yeah, I got some desert <laughs> face paint. <laughs> yeah. Are we approaching another death here? Oh, I think we are. Because there's not much. Um... Get your cigar out. Yeah. There aren't many. <laughs> just get to take it like a man. Why not? Just get your cigar out and just stand there like, well, this is the end. <laughs> Was he dead? I right. shot the <laughs> Now I'm dead. Snake is dead. <laughs> Mostly yeah. dead. I just got an achievement. <laughs> sure. So did you use uh, the fake death pill there? Or did you I did, yeah, but then they kicked me. And he kicked you to death as well. <laughs> He's not really dead. Kick him to death. <laughs> Why are the vampires? They're Russian, aren't they? <laughs> it's Eastern European. It's... Vampire accent. <laughs> That's only like going track. Oh, oh, oh. oh, <laughs> the... Right, I'm sneaking up the steps. Watch his legs. It's most exaggerated. <laughs> Let's go fast but quiet. All right. That's the guys came from behind you last time, remember, Chris? Yeah, that's because I was already, chasing me. Yeah, he was already in alert mode. Uh, have you got your little sonar? There you go. Thingy. Sonar better.
The sonar detects uh, stationary enemies, doesn't it? But I believe when you press the sonar, it sends out a noise also. Mm. Oh, mate. No one. It wasn't anyone. Oh! Yeah, they can, they can see you a lot easier in this game than they can in any of the others. <laughs> HQ, wrong. punch him in the face. Yeah. Did you get oh, an achievement no, for kicking no. every person in the entire world in the face? Maybe you do. That's like the platinum achievement. Oh. Me, when people get hit in this game, it's like really exaggerated. Like they just—they uh, always do a flip. Yeah, they sort of go like a stunt man sort of thing. Yeah. Right. I'm a bit annoyed about that whole end thing. I was I'm sure I read a guy that said that there was a room you could get the sniper rifle from before you got there. We've not encountered anywhere. To be honest, I expected for 20 quid I'd do a bit of research, you would have gone into it, to be honest. Yeah, it's been ages since you've played it though, hasn't it? And also, since you're the one putting the money up, shouldn't you have done the research yourself? No, because no, he doesn't <laughs> want to pay it, game. surely. Oh, whatever. <laughs> My excuse for being terrible at this game is that I'm playing on a 14-inch monitor. Yeah. Instead of a 50 inch TV like I normally do with these games. Does that make it easy to kick people in the face? It makes it easy to see things, but I'm just making excuses, obviously. You are. <clears throat> I do like the knocking the leaves over thing. That's very impressive for the time. There is some. Admittedly, lovely little touches in this game, and not these games in general. Yeah, they're always good for the little detail thingies, the little. Yeah, the sort of things that don't really need to be there, but it's appreciated that they are there. Yeah. It's like going to a restaurant and then making like a bit of extra effort to present the thing for you. Yeah, they put a bit of parmesan on it for you. <laughs> or something. <laughs> essence of vomit. Do you not like parmesan? I don't like the type of stuff that you normally get in. Place, most places. You gotta have it fresh, otherwise it just it's just vomit. I've got a feeling this area you're in now is where you fight uh, the fear that uh, <laughs> next boss. If I remember when rightly, you can I found poison the fear with rank food. Yeah, I found quite easy. Yeah, it's very easy when you give him poison food. <laughs> yeah. Because that's Pretty what he does, easy. runs around and eats stuff while he's fighting you, like most enemies in most games. Well, that's the one you're going to get the poison food for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the thing about this is that every time Chris kills something and captures it, because these gameplays are at least a week apart, all the food that he's got has gone off anyway, regardless. Because there's like a... The game has the, you know, an in a real time clock sort of. It's kind of dark because that means that this mission's taken like you know, the best part of a month so far. <laughs> Snake's really dragging his heels. <laughs> We've got to get under that fence. Uh, I've got a feeling it's off to the left hand side when you get through. There's some dogs. Take that little bitch out right now. Because they will fuck you up. Just they, they just catch you really easily. He's not got that suppressed, by the way. Shit. Yeah, I did say he's I not got that suppressed. Didn't actually mean to fire it then. I thought I was gonna <laughs> let it off. Well, it's all right. You're just in caution. It's not that bad. You're technically still still sneaking. You've not been caught yet. It'd be really nice if you could get into this building without going into alert mode. Are they coming out to get you? They are, but I'm gonna. I don't think I don't think they can because I think you have to crawl through a hole in the fence, and they, the guards don't do that. They won't go through the the weird little holes in fences. So. 
Mm, Ooh, you just need some ass snake bee. Mm. Yeah, a bit of snake bee. <laughs> That's how they're categorised in the wild. That's a snake A. That's A type. <laughs> there's, o there's only 26. <laughs> Tasty. Do you get snakes with punctuation like snake exclamation mark? What the full ass guy said. Yeah. <laughs> Food is not full. I haven't got any tranquilizers, have I? Uh, you, you have to put the uh, apply them. Hang on, have you? You just shut the dog. Yeah, I was was with. It didn't have a tranquilizer though. That was a problem. Right? Can I apply them in here, maybe? I think you could do it on that menu you had there. You just have to follow the instructions that it gave you. No, it didn't give me any instructions. I don't think I've it got does. any. Open it up again. Oh. Uh, put on off suppressor with the X button. Right, you haven't got any then. There you go. I knew that. Uh, and I'm afraid I'm not very good at remembering where they are either. So yeah. Don't remember this game as well as I remember 1 and 2. <coughs> A lot of it though, isn't there? Yeah, there is a lot more in this one. Look at how many guards there are around here! I can't Jeez. remember now, is it, have we already passed the compound where that other video was? This is I here, think I this, think. This is here, but it was in it the looks, daytime. It looks familiar, yeah. It was in the daytime and I think you were... You, you come out of this place in the daytime or something like that, like it does change the... There's a day, there's not a day to night cycle, but there's certain places you, you visit twice, and one's at night and one's in the daytime. Right. I mean, that's just a blatant hole in the fence, that, isn't it? I mean, that's really... It's bad security, that really is. Really shoddy, that. Really shoddy. <laughs> Gone to the effort of an electrified fence and then having a big gap in it. Rick Waller could fit through that hole in there. Look at the state of it. <laughs> <laughs> you fit Rick Waller, Barry White, and whoever else you care to mention in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Is Barry White a danger to Russian compounds? He's a big bloke. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure oh, no. Barry White! Yeah, he could run at them and be like, my darling guy. Oh. <laughs> Got in without alerting anyone, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'd make them all start having sex with each other because they can't resist the white, the white sex charm. So all the soldiers start getting it on. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Russia. So the in Russia. entrance. Sorry. I've got. You might have to find a suppressor around here somewhere. I'm not sure if there's one under one of these trucks. You'll pick some up in the game anyway. There's a few knocking around. Oh. And they're back in normal mode. But this all basically means that for sneaky purposes, you can't use that gun because it will just alert everyone. Well, not alert them, but it will make them cautious in the area. <clears throat> Try locating a massive fucking hole in your fence, mate. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right. Why are you when you're taking like phones? It's really difficult to see the enemies where they are, though. When you're like this, yeah, it is. It's just got, you just, all you can see is grass in front of you. And the enemies are also kind of camouflaged as well for their background. Like they don't they don't pop out against things. Like when you're playing Far Cry, all the enemies are wearing bright red. You're like, oh, there he is. <laughs> or is it bright yellow in Far Cry 3? Um, it's red. Both, Three, it's it? red. Yeah. It's yellow when you get to the second island, though, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, there's like the, the elite people or something. The, the, mer the proper mercenaries, they weren't just dodgy pirates. I love the fact that even like dis disparate pirates all wear the same colour. Out of respect for your being able to see them and shoot them. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's another one of those game things of like, well, do you want the game to be playable or not? Uh, do you want realism or do you want playability? Maybe they all read like a thing when it came to the island, which said if you if you're a true pirate, you'll wear red. And oh, they all man, get all, down. Yeah. These are vast colours. So you have to get on board. <laughs> but even in Far Cry 4, it's still the bad guys still wear red. That's because it's the same game, just set in Him Himalayas, isn't it? Yeah. I'm still playing that. I got bored of it. I haven't bought it just because of that. Basically, that comment. 
I've, I've been playing it, but yeah, I've, I've admit that I've played it before Christmas, so now that I've been busy at Christmas, I've not gone back to it. I'm not in a rush to either. You played it? No, not yet. It's just Far Cry 3 in mountains. I give it all to come I, to I said it, Mark. I did get to an interesting point in it, not that we're talking about Metal Gear, but whatever, That where uh, they introduced a new enemy type, which I thought was quite interesting, called Hunters, who were guys that used bows. Yeah, and yeah. And you, know you know the way you tag enemies, that doesn't work on them, but it only works on them for a few seconds. Yeah. So they, that, that's cool, because I actually found them, quite, when I first introduced to them, I found them quite challenging, because you get so used to that, I've tagged him, I know where he is forever, thing. It's not that way, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Uh, you, I think, can you get all the way around the back from here? Uh, I needed a claymore, so I thought I'd come this you way. Need the smoke grenades always handy. In fact, the smoke grenades might be handy next time you get into a, an alert situation. Just lob some fucking smoke at him and run away. The, you know, door, the door that you want to go in is, is like a red door, and it's off to the, the right-hand side of the building, or the east side of the building, if you're looking at it. Like, you know... There is also a uh, weapons room or weapons like sort of bunker shed thingy outside it that might have some handy stuff in there. It might even have a suppressor for your. Uh, Get back in there, you're not bad. Get back in the grass! Don't you remember what you learned at sneaking school with the boss? What, stay in the grass? Stay in the grass! I think all she taught you was how to bleed from your kidneys. Yeah, how to get toned. <laughs> take him out, take him out, take him out. Stop fucking about. Huh? Oh, man! Yeah, that, that, there's something really weird because you can't sneak up on them. I don't get what the problem is. It's really. The problem is really crazy. Weird. Shit. It's not me. I swear to God, it's not me. <laughs> that's the, that's In Chris's defense, that's the slowest you can move towards an enemy that he was doing then and the guard still heard him. <laughs> that sounds nasty, that'll do. Stop standing in a room and kick people in the face as they come <laughs> through the door. We've seen this before. Yeah. It's a Yay. machine gun that you just found, isn't it? Shoot them all. No suppressor with it. No, you have to find suppressors extra. Obviously. Let's be honest, Chris, the suppressor isn't going to help me with it. No. TNT might, though. I think this is one of those no. places that you can blow up if you want to. I was just thinking that. Should I? Might as well. Tell alls. Don't knock oh, on the. <laughs> what? Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to punch him, but unfortunately, punching him also <laughs> sets the sets yeah. the shit off. So that little red door is the door you actually want to go through. But I don't yeah, know I get that know. now. I don't know if you can when you're in alert mode. I don't know if it'll let you. Yeah, he just does it really <laughs> yeah. fucking slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Gorky Lab. Granini. Granny Gorky. <laughs> Granny Gorky, it's coming down. Ah, uh, cure. <laughs> you put some ointment on that TNT wound. Yeah. <laughs> some ointment on that shattered femur. Just split. check your, just check your uh, camouflage. I can't remember if, the, if she gave you the uh, scientist outfit or not. I've got a feeling that you've been given it. Maybe you can put it on and you'll be alright. Mm. Scientist. No but, no, but if I put snow one on. No, the scientist isn't about camouflage, it's about being in disguise. Like they think I, I get that, I get that. <laughs> I'm sure the guards can spot the scientist. Yeah. Oh yeah, France <laughs> now, I'll do. Yeah, you should, should be a scientist for uh, like, Jack on your face. You have a France! <laughs> Shit, man. Sacre bleu! They have found me! <laughs> Croissant, latrine, baguette! <laughs> you just think like a, fl a flag is running around the officers. 
That was about as culturally aware as fucking carry on film those impressions <laughs> is. The scientist is running away. Run, science man! You know what Bam Bam with the, the French flank tattoo and his face shot with Bam Bam shooting him? Yeah, just chase your dad like, where is your science now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he must have seen you there. Yeah. It's not a oh, I'll get off. It's time for a quick nap. Have you played this before? Seriously. <laughs> you remember the generation game where, where people were made to do things for the very first time and they were really shit at them? Yeah. They're just shooting me through the locker. <laughs> yeah. Close the That's door. Close the I door. Yeah. <laughs> Man is first. Oh, that bad stuck. Is, we had oh, nice little garden. Just leave me alone. I've got a feeling out here there's a place to crawl in. Maybe that could be a way for you to escape this alert mode. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'll get ready. Fucking hell! Because there was a dog there. I thought you had to crawl up the stairs after you. Though. It was like a stealth run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a Russian Oh, he's got an arm knackered. He's got a knackered arm. That guy. Quick, get him. Yeah, take that. Quick, get in the car seat. <laughs> get in the car seat and put your scientist outfit on. That'll fool them. Really? I don't have a scientist outfit. You, you fucking do. You went. You look. You went right past it. It's in your camouflage index. It'll really go with your flag. <laughs> Uniform. <laughs> Keep going down. Look for the one that says scientist. <laughs> scientist. It's right there. Not that it'll make any difference now. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was there. Obviously, I missed that meeting. I missed the meeting. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's got glasses and everything. And Plus, a bandana. And a ban <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. You're going to die. Cut. Right. Um, that would be that. At least it's kind of plausible that a scientist would be doing this to himself. <laughs> in the middle of a fight, though. Yeah, in the toilet with the man with a gun pointing at him. Yeah, exactly. Wait there, I'm just wrapping my arm up. <laughs> Fucking science, this, isn't it? I don't know why he's from Yorkshire. He does look like he should, should be in Yorkshire. <laughs> oh, mate, get off the floor. Oh, you plank. <laughs> <laughs> Every chance he gets, he wants to push his crotch to the floor. <laughs> oh dear me. The floor feels like, mmm. This, this, this is the <laughs> seldom seen zero stealth run of Metal Gear <laughs> <laughs> Choco chip uniform, brilliant. So I'm not going to stealth this game, screw that, I'm too cool for that. I think right, if you fall down I... there you might die. Oh no you didn't. This is yeah. where I was before, so if I... Yeah. Stay here. <laughs> I'll try again in a minute. Didn't die though. What are you laughing at? It's not even funny. It's a bit funny. Oh. <laughs> I think we should just embrace the fact that there's, there's going to not be any stealth in this. I'm not. It's just <laughs> difficult. It's not even not stealth. That's the funny part. Do you know uh, that concept where, uh, whereby if you've got an infinite number of monkeys in front of an infinite number of uh, typewriters, eventually they would come out with the uh, the combined works of uh, Shakespeare? This is like one monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would never happen. <laughs> uh. Right, I need to get rid of this bandana somehow. It doesn't, you can't, you can't, it's always there. <laughs> always there. Right, can I uh, just walk in now? Or do I have to no, wait for as a, caution? As a, as a side note, if you're here, there's still... Well, inside this outfit only works when you're inside the building. Excellent. So you might as well go back to your normal camo, because it's more camouflage. 
So if scientists yeah. walk outside the building and get, get shot, shot instantly. Yeah. Yes. That's hard. Mate, this is Soviet Russia. Like. <laughs> Why does the work. Italian flag work in, in shrubbery? Because it's a bit green, isn't it? A bit red, like the trees. Greeny, reddy. Bollocks. Brown. You know. That's <laughs> 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 Science Johnson. Science Johnson? Yeah. What the hell is that? He's a black scientist. Johnson from Peepshaw. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't go. think that's what he meant, but... Ooh, 95%. It is dark out. How the hell do I sneak up to him then? Well, let's see if you can do it this time. I reckon you get near him and then you're pushing forward to move fast. I'm not at it's all. I'm not a dick. I'm not a complete dick. I think it's a case <laughs> I like of... I you phrase that then, Chris. Um, get up. Don't go. Don't try and walk right up to the walk up so you're about maybe... Four or five paces behind him and see if you can grab them. Like, because I think when you press grab, he'll step forward to grab them. I don't think you have to be right up to them like you did in Metal Gear Solid 2. So grab is square, isn't it? No, it's circle in this one. I ask that it. every single time, don't I? It's the bit it's different in this game, though. If you if you stand still and press and hold circle, he will grab them and, and get them in a grip. Oh shit! Know? In a throat lock thingy. Throat lock. Well, it's not a headlock because it's the headlock's like the under the arm thing, isn't it? Mm. But it, it's like a throat hold, choke hold. Choke That's hold. what I'm looking for. Enjoy the nice sneaky music. Pluck those violin strings. Bit of pizzicato. Is that what they call that? That's what they call it. Yeah. I bet we've already had this conversation about that, <laughs> and I'll forget again next time as well. I don't think we have. I don't think it's pronounced pixicato. Pixicato, it is. Hmm. Pixicato. That sounds about right. right seven seconds left. Who's that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't even... I don't even see what happened there. He heard you from about half a mile away. <laughs> Just shoot them all, Chris. What the fuck? bullets quite quickly. We're not guards first I imagine. Shops, fucking everything everywhere. <sighs> no. Okay, I've run out of disinfectant. That didn't happen the last time I played this game. I never ran out of any of this stuff. You're playing on a hard setting as well, when you're ultra hard or whatever. My argument is, is that I can't hear the game properly. There's a small television. You guys are talking at me all the time. I can't hear the ambient music and sound effects. 
I'm, Honestly, I'm not swap with me. That, actually. I'm, I'm actually going to give you the benefit of the doubt there because I think if I was playing a stealth game, <clears> people were talking to me and. Ah, uh, I've got it. Sorry, I know the reason why it's gone wrong. I was just looking there and I've forgotten about this. To sneak up on enemies, um, you have to use the D pad, not the analog stick, to make him walk even slower and quieter. Fucking. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Look I remember it. Now that I've just, now that I've just read it. I remember it, but I just could not for life me figure out why it wasn't working. Cheers, Kojima, you fucker. <laughs> Yet again. Kojima, more like. Kojima. <laughs> oh, what a that bell was a mega diss there, Sam. That was what? That was a mega diss. Mega diss. There was a thousand like a, disses. That was like a that diss that powered brilliant. up to level two. Brilliant. Who hey, was this on the PlayStation One or something? For fuck's sake, D-pad. Yeah, I know. Because like, you get so used to not using it as well. You're like D-pad, isn't that for selecting grenades or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the dick pad, isn't it? The D-pad. <laughs> hmm, which dick shall I use today? I used left. Oh god. Anyway, so yeah, let's. If you killed all the guards outside this place, no, there's one. There's a guy at the right, yeah. Ah, uh, just keep, away, yeah. keep crawling around, it'll be fine, I'm sure. You've got 80% camo even whilst you're moving, that's pretty good, isn't it? Till I get in the light. Till you get in the light, yeah. Then it goes down to minus 50. See, that D-pad thing is a bit something that if we'd ragged the guys up with the codec calls, they would have told us at some point, but, you know, who wants to well, sit it's probably, all that it's probably in the instruction manual as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's fine Quasimodo. <laughs> That's their caution mode. He's, in, he's being cautious. Oh. He's only got a pistol as well. What happened there? They don't give rifles to punch bags. Oh, that's hunchbackist. <laughs> Just like that guy in 300. Uh, I can't remember his name. Oh. He does have one. Kevin. That's it. Kevin. Yeah, Ke Kevin, Kevin the gimpy Spartan. Yeah, the Kevin the wannabe Spartan. There was a How It, how it Should Have Ended. Um, have you seen any of those? How It Should Have Ended like cartoons? Yeah. They're pretty funny, like, check them out on YouTube. There's a lot of them for a lot of big Hollywood films. It's obviously best if you've seen the film as well, otherwise you'll get spoiled. But um, they did one for that, and they had the bit with him going up to the uh, Leonidas and saying, oh, I want to be a Spartan. He goes, oh, we know, our phalanx won't work, and this, that, neither. He's like, that's total bullshit. Whenever you get into a fight, you all sprint off and do super slow-mo, like, one-on-one -on -one <laughs> fighting. Like, why, it doesn't matter. Your phalanx doesn't count for anything. <laughs> Which is true. In the film, not in real war, I'm sure. Oh, Fucking caution mode over. Sniped. Oh, I'm just gonna jump up and down. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Jumping for joy. Or rolling for joy. It's kind of crotch touching the floor for joy, really, isn't it? Not that door. No, no, I was just seeing if I could get in. Snake only uses the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some stuff, dead man. You burk. You dead burk. Let's see if I've left anything in the thing I exploded. I didn't die, did I? So it should. No. no, no it should the other two guys can turn to liquid. <laughs> so there's lots of these little huts around that you blow up then. Are they all similar? There's, there's a few of them, yeah. I think it's more about... I think you have to backtrack through a few areas. Uh, <laughs> when you backtrack through there, um, then the guards have got, like, they will all have pistols or something, or they'll be, they'll be less well equipped or something. Yeah. So now that you're in there, get that scientist outfit on straight away. Like. Maybe not the blackface, though. No, I'll leave yourself black. I mean, this could, this could be the one section of the game. I know you've already been caught in here, but where you might get through. Now then, I believe if you press triangle, it'll do the nerdy push his glasses up thing <laughs> on his face. There's a way to make him do it. There you go. <laughs> I think if a guard's like, hey, I don't know, you just go, uh, glasses? And then <laughs> it'll skew alone. Excuse me. 
Um, I think you'll find. <laughs> Running like a stealth ninja as well. Look at him. Yeah, of course. Stealth of course. ninja assassin thing. Right. I could do with some food and rations. It's the, and... It's the bandana that makes this so stupid. <laughs> but it's funny though. It's it's. Uh... Um. Can I actually. Re How do I get food? Cal Eat food. Uh. Calories taste better. I think if you if you're in the backpack if you're in the backpack menu that you just press circle over the item that you want to eat or something. Uh, yeah, but that just restores um, st stamina, doesn't it? Well, then then again, if you have full stamina. Right, this place is worth having to wander around. Uh, I know that there's um, there's a cigarette tranquilizer thing which is really handy because there's another lab like this where you can walk around and it's like a it's basically a cigarette that when you use it. It, near somebody, it knocks them out, which is quite useful. Oh, there's a frog. <laughs> Get the frog! I can't do yeah, it. I can't. Shoot. I haven't got a, a suppressor. Yeah, if we said that if you shoot all those frogs, you get the stealth camo, and then in for your next playthrough, yeah. insanely hard thing to do, well, especially on the bike chases at the end when you've got one chance to do it. I had to re. I did that, and I had to reload those sections so many times. Oh, it was awful. So did you do it then? Did you get the stealth camo? Uh, I did it once and could, thought I'm never doing that ever again. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Should have mentioned that the scientist, if you get too close to them, they will spot you. I thought I had to do something with him. <laughs> you had to discuss the results of the latest test. I'm gonna fucking cry in a minute. But I'm sure that round here there's like, yeah, you go, get in the hidey hole. Oh, get in the hidey hole! Oh, you can't go down a little. You can't go it's down a little fucking front. thing. You're no, you joking can't. me. <laughs> you can only go down steps when you're fully upright, Chris. You know this. It's just like real life. <laughs> Grenade. You're too far away for it to hit you, aren't you? <clears throat> Bosh. Oh, is God where damn useful, it. or is it just a way to escape? Um, I can't remember. Yes, it's a way to escape. Is it useful? I don't know. <laughs> It'll take you somewhere. Uh, I can't use anything else, can I? So you bleach? I need disinfectant, but I haven't got any. I'll go and find some bleach. And pour that all over my wound. Can you not, like, just kill Lick a bat, bring it out to make some disinfectant or something? No. You're not just what, sorry. Bring a rat out to make some disinfectant. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like, even if even if that's a thing, I like the terminology. Just ring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> disinfectant from Bring out a rat. <laughs> that's what they used to do in old days. Oh, uh, there you go. It was another register to the building. <laughs> oh, I you that. bellend. You bellend. I could have went in that. It was that. right there. It was right there as well. <laughs> I was looking for them as well. I was. I was even looking for it. I totally forgot about that. Shall we just start right. this whole playthrough again and delete everything that we've put on YouTube because it's so embarrassing? Nah. Sorry, it... this video is no longer available. Users remove new... content for being shit. Speak, <laughs> speaking of which, I was on your blog today and one of the videos you put on there is no longer available. Um, oh. Lou. Which one? The, the video that you've put on there. Oh, the only you? video. Alright, I'll look at that later. I haven't been in ages anyway. What a shame. <laughs> so what, what is what are you trying to do at the moment, Chris? I don't care. Or what's... You go to speak to uh, Gradin, the scientist who was uh, working with Sokolov about something. I've forgotten the final details. I bet it was all explained that cutscene that we skipped. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the somewhere you, I think it's either upstairs or downstairs because there's obviously. Can you go downstairs in this place? Maybe. You what? Maybe. I think the, no, on that staircase you're on is there not a downstairs? Yeah, there was. Yeah, way? sorry. I thought I, I, I don't know if you can go down it. Like... Um. Basically, the upstairs, if you're going upstairs is where it get to the objective, but I'm not sure if there's any goodies downstairs you might want to pick up. It's got 38, 36. Do you want me to go downstairs? You don't have to. 
Oh, I'm gonna now. Fucking said it. What if, there's, what if there's some cool stuff down there? <laughs> Silas is doing car, cartwheels down the stairs. Eureka! It's a, it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> great to become a really weird shape if you get it wrong. <laughs> but you'll stay in it with your interaction. <laughs> Quick, get on the floor. Yeah, on the floor. <laughs> yeah, bit, crouched, bit crouched down. No, I think you're okay. It's just the soldiers aren't the ones that are going to spot you and catch you out. I think it's the scientists that do that. Because the soldiers don't. All scientists look alike to soldiers. They don't get it. Apart from when they're sat on the floor in front of them. Can I just ask what, what's the point in the. Uh... He's looked at you as well when he was looked at you like, hello. Yeah, what's the point in the uh, in the battery on these things? Because it never runs out. When you get down to one, it just stays on one. Uh, I'm sure that the night vision goggles, if you if we had them, if you, when you pick those, when you use those, they will turn themselves off if the battery runs out. Yeah, look at that guy. Squall. He looks proper suspicious, <laughs> doesn't he? Express Mr. Jarrah will load trouble with the what dog. What the fuck was that? <laughs> just somebody just shot me. I think I think a spider just bit you or something. What? Oh yeah, it's on the floor. Little bastard. Fucking twat bag. It's not it's not biting the soldiers or anything though, is it? Put some TNT on it. <laughs> can't can't equip the anything. Have you done in this game as well? You what? Sorry. That would can't be believe a, I was what? walking over the top of a spider and it bit me. That does nothing for arachnophobes, does it? Because <laughs> that's how spiders behave in the real world. What? What? What did I do? Near one, they bite you. Hey. What? Intruder. What? Fucking he was an anti-stealth spider. If this is the only guard down here... No, someone rang the hotel. It's all for... Where, where's he gone? Practice, practice my jiu-jitsu whilst they get themselves together. <laughs> like was in the corridor. I can't use anything while I'm a scientist. Remember that when you oh, use science, to, when you want to attack someone, if you hold down circle, it'll do the throw its weight better than punching them. No, it doesn't. You have to be if you if you have to be moving forward. If you press forward, like up forward and then hold down circle, he'll throw them to the ground. And it's better than just punching them. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm sure it does. Nah, you just get stabbed when you do that. I'm doing it wrong, then. Nah, I've been in there. I'm going in there. Oh my god! It's a door, mate! It's a door! You're a secret agent. You're a highly trained secret agent. Work it out. So, going downstairs doesn't help, Sam. Yeah, it does. That was essential <laughs> to the mission. <laughs> I'm going up because up's the best way. I'm bored of curing myself. That, <coughs> that does something apparently, but I can't work out what. It's <coughs> riddle lock. I don't know where you, where you press it. What did you just do there? Pushed it out. So it's, oh, it locks it like that. What on earth yeah. are you guys talking about? I, I don't want to know. Oh, he's got a gear stick. Yeah. Ah. Is that got? Is that Skype compatible? Yeah, we're controlling Skype with it now. <laughs> Yeah. 
Just stop it. Just dis disables it. Mm. <clears throat> uh -huh. oh. Probably see my legs underneath the stall. What is wrong? I'm every oh, uh, it's actually been... one useful thing that's come from this whole thing. Chris, if you've been shot or anything, this is the fuck I, use. I think you might want to change out the outfit and put it back on because you might have blood stains on it that'll give you away, possibly. Yeah, and it says you're a no pain scientist. <laughs> As opposed um, to a full paint scientist. Well, if you've got a bit of red on you, they might think it's paint and then think, ah, oh, but you're supposed to be no paint. He's got paint on him. Oh, just go like that? Yeah. How is that naked? Nothing here. Naked except for the camo dungarees. I think it's because he's called Naked Snake. That's just his default setting. Oh, this is fucking painful. Probably not as painful if you're not as shit as I am. Maybe. I don't think anyone will know because no one's actually came close to being this shit. <laughs> no, Christ. <laughs> Uh, Tough get wash your hands. <laughs> Sound's gone by the way, Chris. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> oh, <the dog. laughs> well, I guess the uh just <laughs> wait for something to happen, yeah. dear! You got a suppressor for your tranquilizer at least. Yay! Hey! That's gonna cure my wounds, isn't it? Merry Christmas! The 60s. Just have a nice little relax. In the food storeroom. <sighs> ah, book. What am I doing? I've been everywhere. Jump. You haven't. I'm sure you haven't. You've been running around in like alert mode for ages, so this... I, I can't remember exactly where you're supposed to go, but you've definitely not been there yet, and it's upstairs. Wherever it is. Oh, I might just eat all of this shit and kill myself. <laughs> just, I've got a feeling if you eat rotten food, Snake will puke. <laughs> just murder yourself from eating rotten Kenyan crabs. Yeah. It's not a good way to go. Why did you start coming up both ends? So it's squat and vomit <laughs> shitting all over the floor. Squamit. And dies of dehydration. Just bars of crab come from both ends. Yeah. Well, you so call terrible. Backwards. Utterly fucking deep. Yeah, just. If you happen to press the joystick in just the right look, right direction. Yeah. It's kind of t tank controls when you're on the ground. Sort of, I guess, yeah. I've had enough. <laughs> Ooh. That's back to that little garden place. No, <laughs> it just looked right at me. <laughs> Not asked. I think like that guy only spotted you when he got when he looked right at your face. Yeah, but if you run away then they have a go at you. If you do anything funny like duck, they have a go at you. Yep. They don't they just don't like you. Is there a good reason why a scientist would be ducking? Uh, tie a shoe. Mm, yeah. Do they not all wear loafers? Oh, it's a, that's one of the things you get when you graduate first, <coughs> with a science degree, it's a set of loafers and a, and a white coat. <laughs> and obviously a pair of glasses. And a bandana. And for most scientists that I've seen interviewed, some sort of speech impediment. <laughs> They've usually got one, one or the other, like either a lisp or a cleft palate or one of those knocking oh, around. <laughs> so, no one, <laughs> no 
lips! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said no lobes for a minute now. I was thinking, science could get away with no earrings, I guess. <laughs> She shines. You're going to speak up. Left a bit of chat there from there. That's always that's the look I was going for. I mean, I, I used to first. it's a very bad moment when you realise that you know that what was it? Denise Richardson, the uh, that Chase Bond film, played a nuclear physicist. They don't look like that. They don't look like that. God, thanks for reminding me of that. Yeah. Denise Richardson Bond. It was a great there was, movie. There was like two or three years when Denise Richards was probably the hottest woman in the entire world. But now she just looks weird and hairy. <laughs> I think uh, getting a baptized bad thing certainly helped a little bit with that. Yeah. What? Where am I going? Um, I'm trying to help you, but it, the, the feed's gone pretty poor from my end as well. Yeah, it's, been bad it's definitely bad. It's definitely on the upper level where you want to go. No, she just looks... So, I don't know, have you tried just every door that you can try? She's just... It's weird. Like... Skinny. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with her. Yeah, I'm not. Jesus. Go on. Prefer that to that. That's how she was in We're just, um, lamenting on what's happened to Denise Richards. The last thing I saw him was a cameo in 30 Rock, and she still looked pretty good in that. I think that red door at the end of this corridor is where you're Ganon. Ganon to see Granin. Nice. <coughs> oh, wonder what that <laughs> funny scientist there's doing. Opening every single fucking locker and picking up he bullets. Forgot, he forgot which locker was his. He's got more important things to worry about, like nuclear war and that. Oh, there we go. Um, have you managed to get through the area? Yeah, no. obviously. I've got oh, full no. health as well, without having to, without pulling all my wounds out. Hang on. Oh. You're outside again. I am. So that wasn't the right way to go either. It's number 10. I have to admit I'm a little bit lost. Is it worth calling somebody for a bit of advice on the codec? Good call. Yeah, see sure what I did there. Yeah. I see you're disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. As long as you Shut don't up, Major Zero. Like tell me what to do. Crawl, the enemy should have no reason to suspect you. Sokolov is somewhere We've already gone past that, that lab. Find out where he is and make contact with him. It's got to be that guy. Want to know where oh no, Sokolov's, Sokolov's the guy with the glasses, isn't he, from the beginning? The around there? Maybe I just have to... Ah, might be... you have to... Yeah, now I've got it, mate. Ask one of the people around there. You have to grab one of them and interrogate. You have to grab somebody and interrogate them. Now, the good thing about having that scientist uniform is that you can walk right onto that guy. If you press and hold circle, you should be able to grab him because he won't be alerting. <laughs> if you hold circle down. Did it. Didn't, didn't do it. It's square. It must be square. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's. I'm sure it was circle in this game. <laughs> Seriously, how can you be this bad? I, I'm doing what Sam's telling me to do. <laughs> I love that there's some, some guy there just next to the, the alarm where you can press it. Yeah, it's like you'll fuck off again. <laughs> yep. Thank you. I love you, Chris. I don't love you. <laughs> oh, love me. In fact, I'm getting quite depressed at the moment. I might sit and just eat Thornton's chocolate for the rest of the stream. Just this might be a stupid thing, but you know in your options, is there like a control list so we just double check what the actual controls are? Because I've got a feeling that circle was all you, all your CQC was done with circle. Uh, yeah, you punch with circle. Um... But when you've got when you've got like a handgun equipped, you can still see QC guys. So that it must be circle. Right, I'm gonna try square. All right. You watch me. 
you do that. Nothing. Uh, I just that cathartic, Chris. I've just thought of something else. I'm say I'm, it's stupid. I think you have to be uh, equipped with a knife to, to to hold them up and grab them, or a CQC weapon, it, exactly. basically. I can't equip a knife while I'm a scientist. Oh, <laughs> so how you want to interrogate someone, you got to strip off. Oh, hang on. I'm now that. stuck in this camera angle. Um, I don't know what there, was, there is a way to change the camera angle, but I can't remember. Is it one of the sticks? No. Just tried those. That's his glasses. Yeah, that's a useful move, isn't it? Oh, there's a spider there. Oh, mate. I Google it for you, Chris. I'm fucking crying in a minute. <laughs> um, the other option is is uh, obviously in order to interrogate somebody, I think you have to have a knife, so you're gonna have to unequip the scientist outfit before you grab them. I guess that's what you have to do. It's not R3. That's change camera. Uh, the camera's just stuck. I think it's a bug, actually. It's not even moving from there, look. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. It's, <sighs> it's going so well. Punch confirm. Punch confirm? Yeah, that's what Circle does. Hey, go in use L3 to interrogate while holding an enemy, but it doesn't stop you on how to get hold. I think in order to interrogate him, you have to have the knife equipped because he holds the knife to the throat. So, uh, I think you have to, okay. to grab them, you have to like find one and then take your scientist uniform off, then grab them, then interrogate him, and then do what you will with them. Interrogate. It's quite complicated. It's yes. Chokehold. Holding circle will grab and keep an enemy in a chokehold. Press circle in rapid succession to choke the enemy. If done several times, the enemy will be stunned. That's what it says, just press, yeah, press hold circle, sorry. Hold circle. That's what I said. Don't turn around, mate. But I don't think you can interrogate them unless you've got the knife equipped, so that's the thing. I'll just chuck him on the ground instead. Did he break his head then? Yeah, the, like, I, like I said to you before, if you move him whilst you do that, it'll throw him. You have to be stood still in order to grab them. It's a complicated control system. But yet they've got a button completely devoted to adjusting his glasses. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Where? Downstairs, maybe? I'm going home. I am actually going to eat all my fountains now. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Just Some of my thorns. I happen to have a box about this fucking big with him. Don't stop them. comforting, Chris. Put them away. Who can see me? This guy should be like dead in the fucking cupboard. It's not going to win. It's going to back with the door so he fell over. The use of CQC is only possible with no weapon selected or a weapon compatible with CQC indicated by a red CQC in the item window. Yeah, um, so it is all done with circle. It's yeah, so it difficult. is. Because square is fire, so if you've got like a handgun equipped, you can still CQC. So you can, in the, I think in this game, you can uh, grab somebody and still shoot guys with your other hand. Yeah, you can um, do a human like shield. That. Um, yeah, you can do that. switch quickly from circle to square to aim a gun and use the enemy as a shield. 
The tricky point is, is that you have to not, in order to grab them and not throw them, you have to be not moving. So you've got to let go and forward at the right time to grab them and to get the timing right whilst they're trying to kill you. So I can't do it with the scientist uniform equipped. No. See so why not? Therein lies the additional challenge, I suppose. Do you think I need any more challenge? Uh, no. But well then, tell them that. It, yeah, I didn't. I didn't make it. <laughs> Look at the bright side. We've not really seen any cutscenes in this playthrough. Because <laughs> oh, I've episode. moved about two meters. And the one that did appear, you skipped it. Right, <laughs> getting what is the load in the toilet, unawares. <laughs> just <laughs> now then, strip off. I bet just to be a knob, if you're not wearing the scientist outfit, you'll have to do the D-pad sneak thing and <clears throat> get your knife equipped as well. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't do that noise. <laughs> Hold square, right, hold circle to, to knock them out. Hold circle to do this, hold circle to do that, but you have to be within one pixel. I didn't, I didn't make the controls, man. I didn't make the controls. Am I, I shouting at you? <laughs> not even funny. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not live streaming this. <sighs> In fact, it'd be funnier, I think, if we did live stream it, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Lou's just like, for fuck's sake, why am I friends with this guy? <laughs> for those of you that have just joined us, this is Toilet Door Simulator 2014. <laughs> 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 I love how every time you put the glasses on, every time you put the scientist thing on, the glasses flash up in front of your face for a second. You probably miss it because of the stream, but it did. Oh, know, I saw it. Oh dear. Now then, uh, is it possibly a scientist that you have to interrogate or a soldier? Now that's the other thing I'm not sure about. I, I want to interrogate somebody. Maybe I do need the knife, maybe you're right. I think you do to interrogate them, but as I said, it's you have to be not moving when you press the grab button, or hold the grab button. Otherwise you'll just throw them onto the ground. It's a fair point, because Triangle is hardly ever using this game, and it's like, because they've not just made it context sensitive so that like Triangle was grab and Circle was punch. That would have been handy, wouldn't it? Stab you up, just stab them all. Stab them right up it. Right, there was no guards upstairs, so if there are any now, I'm gonna cry. Oh, brilliant, the one that doesn't bloody work. Somebody in there taking a big dump. <clears throat> Abysmal, isn't it? It really is abysmal. Yeah. <clears throat> I, can't, I don't understand what you meant to do. I'm reading the walkthrough and it reckons you just leave the same way you came in. As a scientist. What? No, once you get to the building, just walk, just leave it again. I no, think... you have to. You have to talk to Sokolov or talk to somebody. Shut up your face. <coughs> no, I don't I don't think this is giving you a proper walkthrough, it's just giving me tips. 
Let's put some clothes on, see if that makes a difference. You got the knife equipped. Walk through. No. But I also think that I was uh, potentially... Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you interrogate people, man. <laughs> well, it's a bit. It's one step closer than a bit before, isn't it? Got an achievement for it, though. Got an achievement. It's an hacker's windpipe up before it can reply. I, I better held it down. I was a bit too enthusiastic then. I just held it down really, really hard, and it's one of them. You don't hold it down all the way, do you? Yeah, it's a touch sensitive thing. Just on top of everything else, you also have to only half hold it. <laughs> and then you press R3 or L3, and you'll be like, Where does it suck off? L3, I think. Do you think that was suspicious? Yeah, that's cool. Not cool. I'm going to run out of bloody guards soon. Small dick. Yeah. That'd be funny if you got a game over because you ran out of people to interrogate. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading a walkthrough and it's not giving me any clues as to what you're actually meant to do in here. Because no one actually knows. They're going to put that made the game. Nobody made this game. They 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 formed it from from hell. Right, circle. It's it's not even funny anymore. It's getting to a point now where I'm just getting annoyed with it. Somewhere in Japan, there are tears being shed, Chris. Well, not right now. Whenever I upload it to YouTube, that will happen. I don't think it's happening now. Yeah, from the other playthroughs, probably. I am horrific at this game. <laughs> I admit it. I am. I am utterly dire. I do still want to see one of you two play it, though. Like, well, at least one of them to have a go. I mean. I'd say the control system's better in this one, but it's it's a lot more intricate and you know more difficult because it's it more intricate. I, I think it, there's it way too many controls. So clunky. It is a bit clunky. I'm not gonna. I, I still think it's better than the others, though. I can't believe I got through this bit on my own before. Easy. <laughs> you have to walk like wider than that. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? Is this this is a finger? <laughs> are they doing lockstep or something? <laughs> like if you do that, does your ass get bigger? I was just trying to demonstrate how big your sphincter would need to be in order to incorporate that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Following the guard in the toilet naked. <laughs> and the door closes. <laughs> oh, him! Oh, oh. L3. There we go. Eat spoiled this is George Owen. Stomachache. Brilliant. Oh, there we go. Not useful. Speak. Rations. Don't go bad. Yeah, that's obviously not what you're supposed to do. Speak. Then. If the provision storehouse is destroyed, open his windpipe. Up. Speak. Bastard. Oh, bastard, <laughs> am I? Quite nicely put him down then, didn't he? But <laughs> there was a bit of love involved there, wasn't there? You'd had a bit of a relationship going on there. That was what I would call a little bit of a success. So let's go and try and find the scientist and do it to him, eh? And he was in this room, wasn't he, down here? From a gameplay point of view, it makes sense that because if you get close to scientists, they spot you, so it makes it harder. 
Yeah, the, I've got, you know, this the cigarette thing that I'm telling you about, that is in the basement. I'll go and get that later. Oh, shit. I'm not sure if you need it. Don't fucking follow me, mate. Ow. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. What a dick. <laughs> Who is setting that alarm off? That There's always matter. somebody there to press the alarm. <laughs> the alarm man. Yeah, it starts pissing <laughs> down. Throw some bowling balls down there. Covered dirt. Uh... Get him out there before I can get I'll out because they'll see me crawling, won't they? They've got all the switch gears then. Nice. Apart from them with shit. Yeah, these are mm, these are the great to see. Oh, so What's that? Is that the same type? These? No, these are rotation. Those are hat switches. That's a rotation. That's a rotation one. Yeah, these. But that, these just don't feel as good to. They're not as grippy. Quite awkward. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm just looking up a, a walkthrough. There is a, there is somewhere you've not been. Um, if you head back to the ground floor, <coughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> oh, I just pressed the fucking alarm myself. <laughs> that was. Oh. Beautiful. That could be misdirection. If you press the alarm, then obviously you won't go. You're not going to go over the person pressing the alarm, are there? I don't know. A double puff going on there. Well, actually, that's a good point. They haven't actually started chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> get him, get him. Yeah. So if you um... I can't just get him here because the guards will see me in a minute. Yeah. yeah I've seen you do everything anyway. I know, but it's not going to help, is it? Shut up. When you get. Uh... Back to sort of normality, you want to head back to the ground floor. Um, and you headed, you know, back to that main entrance bit where you came, walked in and there was like a couch and a little desk area and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it's down this corridor and then to the right at the end of it. The little little jobs that the NPCs do, like you just walked up the stairs and then walked back down the stairs again. That's his job. Oh, that's, I'm going to punch that, him that's, in a minute. That's, that's, yeah, that's the science like, of yeah. walking up and down stairs. Since That's important that work. Down the stairs in an hour and then try and beat that time. Yeah, it's just going to say, it's like, yeah. Uh, <coughs> isn't that some of the principal Skinner does in an episode of The Simpsons where he's like... Yeah. No, he's got Bart doing some sort of menial task. Down, down, down. I'm really sorry, everybody. Not the people, not not you three. I'm really sorry, everyone else who's watching. I'm pretty sure they stopped watching by now. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things you can get from interrogating people is um, a radio code to get rid of the caution. So that's quite handy as well, because obviously you end up waiting for age for the caution thing. So interrogation can be quite useful. Yeah, if you can actually figure out the fucking buttons to do it. Yeah, if you can figure out how to do it, yeah. It's one of those things that it is fiddly, but I remember once you sort of got the hang of it, it was not that difficult to do. 
they'll definitely, definitely get suspicious if you're up there. <laughs> Scientists don't go on boxes. <laughs> have you not played Portal? That, well, they haven't. I wish he'd stop looking at me. Shadow's a scientist, is she? Oh, she's doing something. That's a good point, yeah. She's uh, just a... Uh, we don't know. We never find out who she is, do we, really? Or do they... She's a volunteer, that... isn't she, or something? Is it, it's, no, <coughs> isn't, she, um, isn't she somebody's kid? Because there's a bit in Portal 2 where they're going, you go to uh, like the kids' science fair thing and Shell's entry is one of the entries that you see. You know, the potato science yeah. th thing when you're in... Oh, is it in Cave Johnson's bit? So she's related to somebody. Um, Shell is... Uh... She's not, um, Cave Johnson's daughter. No, she can't no, be Cave she's Johnson's not, daughter. No. She's far too young. She's one of the scientist kids, though, I think. She's connected to the... to the to the, the world and somewhere. Yeah, so, um... If you head out this this room... Can I not interrogate... Do I not even interrogate this guy? No, I don't. It's not interrogating these guys. It's not... Right. That's not. I don't think that's it. I was looking at the walkthrough. I don't think that's it. I just thought it was that because Major Zero said, "Why don't you ask somebody?" But I don't know. I don't think that's it. During the events of Portal Two, it is implied that Shell may be the daughter of scientists who worked at Aperture Science. And the other thing is that she's so uh, right. So with this main entrance, uh, hang on. Uh, right. Head up past. Because I want to pull it. Oh fucking hell! I don't. Not that way. The other way. If you get... Back, back the way you came, past the desk, keep walking up that door there, that's the one. That takes you down to the, the, the basement on the other side of the building. This is where you're actually supposed to go. I knew there was a basement bit that was important. It was just on the other side of the building, that's what it was. I want to kill myself. I remember now, after I looked it up. Sure, I believe in one of these little rooms here you can find the, uh, the little handkerchief thingy. An suspicious hunchback guard. Or is it the cigarette thingy? It's something. There you go. Now this is really helpful if a scientist is getting a little bit close to you. Just put his ass to sleep. And you can equip that as a scientist, that's the point. There's only a couple of weapons you can equip as a scientist and that's one of them. The other one is the, um, it's like a, a na uh, not a napkin, a handkerchief that's got knockout gas in it as well. So, I would knock these douchebags out with some cigarette spray, otherwise they'll alert your ass. Yeah, go to bed, you idiot. Where is it? <coughs> oh, what, what? There. Oh, no. There's the handkerchief. I've got a feeling the handkerchief, you just sort of wafts it around in front of them and, they, and they, something like that. I can't remember how you use it, but it's something along those lines. Night night. Jesus Christ, I can't believe how long it took me to get to this room. <laughs> Yay, now you get to talk to Granin. I knew you get to talk to Granin. Oh. If you're looking for Sokolov but he's not there, then Granin says some shit. Which we'll see in a minute. <laughs> Science! Huh. I didn't die though. True. Although we all died a little inside, didn't we? Yeah. Those two have lost total interest now though. They're ordering pizzas and shit. <laughs> yeah. <they're laughs> not really Whispering away, they're going, get, get a stuffed crust. Yeah, I heard that. As quietly <laughs> as I possibly can. <laughs> I have recorded it. forever. Spoil my drink. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. No. Oh. You're the intruder everyone's talking about. <laughs> Lose part arm job as the talking Captain clock is Storm. paying off. <laughs> no manners. I think that's a I wanna stop soon, like. And 
I think I want to stop soon, I'll be honest. I mean, you've never heard of me. And you, call yourself you know this cutscene's gonna go on for ages though, don't you? Probably. Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Grani. Right. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. Mm -hmm. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions care? to society. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. I thought we a better name for it. Yeah, I, I didn't give a shit, mate. Just give me what I need to get and get on gone. I merely he is indeed crocs. my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here. That's the same. Drink this crap. Him. Out in three weeks. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. You are the Look. What's in the super super? It is a revolutionary <gasps> mobile nuclear missile Metal system. Metal Gear. A bipedal tank. Is that Rex, is it? Or? It's just a, a prototype tank. for a sort oh. of Metal Gear-y type yes. thing. A walking a tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infinite and There's Rex. There's Rex. A kind of metal gear. Easter you eggs. Kind of metal gear, if you will. Look that kind of metal gear, if you will, as if that makes sense in any way, shape, or form. Metal. Complete <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> it just doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. But I won't be. I mean, most gears are made out of metal, aren't they? Myself to sleep. Except wooden ones. You yeah, see, you get those wooden gears in your steampunk fucking wooden machine. As asking the engineer here, yeah, is a gear actually the toothed clog? Or is a gear something else? What technically is a gear? Gear is the mesh. So the gear is actually the, the combining of two cogs. Yeah. Right. To make I thought so. There you go. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. Is there such a thing as a gear then in that case? Surely it would be rocket. gears. Yeah, but well, you do call it gears. Look at these. Nice. So it should be metal gears, solid. No. <laughs> Send away your legs. <laughs> legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? <laughs> no. That's why it's never been invented. Fools in charge. <laughs> Not on that scale, I mean. And where is Sokolov? Tanks seem to do the job all right as they are, really, don't they? The loss of his legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? You get three stars, bro. The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. That whole section would have taken me ten minutes at the most. If you know where you were going. And what you were doing. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. <laughs> we never need to worry so about the military budget. Two hours. Two fucking hours of spacking around. <laughs> yeah. We really have been spacking around as well. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. 
new form of warfare. The funding for my I research came out of that legacy. Any vultures? Came out of it. Now, <clears throat> my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohal project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test. While Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad, here I am playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. Oh, Grozny Grad. That's, that's quite a good level, that. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty big. Is there too. Yeah. Of course. Hey. That's where you had <laughs> your fist fight with Volgin. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. <laughs> Apart from all the holes that you can get in. Yeah, <laughs> they are around the perimeter. There's lots of ways in. Wait. Big holes in the fences and stuff. What? Listen to me, you fool. I That's want awesome. to help you. Help me? To thank oh, you yeah, for the your talk was more than 14 you know. What kind of thing? Shut up about hey, pizzas. Before your Go on, please. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on this. Yeah, if you ever do build any kind of audience, you know, what, what, what will they think? In return, I, ask I think they'll be more concerned about my performance. Oh, right, didn't catch a word of that because you, you all spoke at the same time. The what? Of the fortress. <laughs> you should be able to use it to sneak in through the base. I said that they're, they're... I think we both said the same thing, I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I said the that the tunnel is they'd have been bored by now. Take this. Yeah. They'd be a bit pissed off with my performance, I think. Hopefully the commentary's been sort of amusing. Passed through a warehouse something. on your way here, didn't you? Did I? Oh yeah. A locked door inside. Fifty percent off. Do you remember it? Oh my god, he can read the screen. Fuck's sake! Shut up! Stop talking about pizzas. Order them quietly, or t mute Skype or something if you're going to do it. Beyond that door, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> there is the whole <laughs> mute Skype option. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door. You've taken longer to order pizza than it's taken me to get through that bloody section of the game. Yeah, I was going to say, if you... <laughs> not by not, any length of time, is that even close to me, right? If you've not figured out what you're after yet, you go, do you want that on a pizza? Right, yeah, so right. Do you want some size with it? Yeah, problem. right. Don't yeah, but, order. But, yeah, but if we get, if we get like, a, a stuffed crust and then we get a double one, and then we get a neck, another one with it, then we'll get one free. We won't eat it, doesn't matter, it's free. But yeah, but if we get a side then it'll be twenty percent less and then and then we might get an extra one or two bits of pepperoni on it. I think you've got alarms to be set off somewhere. I, I can't <laughs> can't do anything right now. I'm waiting for our one prompt. I cannot bear the Don't you get an achievement in Metal Gear Solid 4 if you get all of the R1 prompts? Something like yeah, it's that. All, it's, it's all the flashbacks. It's all the flashbacks, isn't it? Because in the cutscenes they'll be like you remember it, Shadow Moses, and you can press it and get flashbacks. Well, is that what they are in that one? Yeah. To capitalism. God, I hope I enjoy Phantom Pain after all this. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed Ground Zeroes, though. To be fair, I didn't yeah, really find that play. that difficult. I, I don't know, man. There's a lot of things where you obviously in a Metal Gear game, you, when you're playing one player, you do take your time and do things a bit differently. I think than you would in this. I'm That's totally not. I said to defend you a little bit. I'm to <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not playing badly. I'm playing badly, but I do totally play them differently when I'm on my own. I've had enough anyway, so let's uh, get it saved and let these guys eat the fucking pepperoni passion. <laughs> Like, if I'm playing Metal Gear and I get spotted in an area, I'm more inclined to just, like, reload a save rather than try and tough it out in a lot of ways. I'd rather restart the section again and, and try and get nah. through. Because that counts as a death here if you do that, doesn't it? So. I suppose, yeah. Or if you let yourself die Snake, and then just pick up where you left off. No. Right. Oh, yes, thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, apologies for the shitness <laughs> of me. But hey, fuck it, you know?
That's what you come for. That's what you. That's what you're addicted to, surely. I, I had a big bit of laugh at that one in the last few, to be honest. I, I was laughing. I was crying inside. I wasn't really laughing. You were covering your tears with laughter. I was. I was. Anyway, so yes, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time for part six. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>